fix it when it's crash. If it crashes, live demo gods aren't going to screw me again, are they? That would be awesome. Because <laughs> I, I just decided to do this. Sweet. <laughs> Send it again. <coughs> if it doesn't work the first time, just keep saying, there we go, shell. <laughs> so, I, we could put any payload in there. there. That actually has a lot of room for payload. Um, I think the proof of concept we put out has calc. Um, you have to do some interesting things to get uh, the other ones to work, but it's a lot of fun because you get to play with the debugger. Uh, we had Shell working. I've got a interpreter payload working. So if somebody's uh, got an older version of Wireshark out there capturing, I can pull Shell in their box on. I think this is universal Windows, isn't it? I think we were pretty much had it tested on every OS and yeah. yeah so there's a that was a, that was an interesting one, right? It took a few days. Did you, did you explain the differences between universal and what's not? Okay, universal will uh, run on any basically any OS, but any version. It, but why is that? Um, Yes. I think, I think this one is. Um, no, no, no. Reason, reason. I think this one is universal because it calls libraries out of the application versus out of the OS. So it's not calling user 32. I was able to find all the commands I needed inside of Wireshark. So I used all Wireshark libraries, which weren't protected by any of the SEA, safe SEH. And I was able to do all of the commands and everything I needed inside Wireshark libraries. That other one that I did for the demonstration, the TFTP one, would be a lot better if that command appeared in the TFTP or one of the TFTP libraries. It didn't. That's why I had to go outside of the TFTP library. Now, there are a lot of alternative commands I could have used other than jump ESP. But again, it was a simple show you guys this so you can kind of get the idea of what's going on. You can get started. You can start researching. Use those resources. Coreland stuff is amazing. Now, could you capture that traffic and then open the, like, the capture file locally in the Wireshark and have it crash out that way? Um, I haven't tried that, but that's an excellent idea. I'm going to try that like when I go sit down. I'm going to do that. So, what's up? How do other OSs handle address from random results? Like Linux? Like Linux or Mac OS X? Or do um, they do anything at all? Linux does. Um, so does OSX. I have not done any OSX stuff. I just got that, uh, is it good? The OSX or the Mac OS X Hacker's Handbook or whatever? Yeah, uh, Dino Zovi and Charlie Miller. Uh, I just got a hold of that, so I'm just going to start. I've never played with it um, and my Linux exploit development experience. That's one thing that's not covered a whole lot in that uh, Cracking the Perimeter class. It's very Windows heavy because that's mostly what you're seeing out there. So. Um, the, how I mean, how hard does it make it for people who want to fuzz applications um, if the application is encrypted, um, hacked, uh, virtualized? Um, I haven't done a lot of anything. Like I used, there's so many just crappy Windows apps on Download.com <laughs> that I'm going crazy on those. Um, I just fuzz all that stuff. Uh, just to play because I'm still getting to the beginning. I. I try not to make it too complicated on myself because, again, I'm still very much in the learning phase for this stuff. So it's, uh, I imagine it would pose some trouble. We are, we are posing, I mean. It's just whatever the, it's whatever the application is willing to accept. You're not trying to bypass any protection. You're just taking what the application is waiting for, what it's listening for, what it's willing to accept, and you're sending it stuff it doesn't expect, like special characters. Um, that's one thing that will crash a lot more applications than you would be comfortable knowing. Um, way too much information in this example was just a bunch of A's that did it. Uh, a bunch of semicolons will crash something else. Maybe, maybe the application is built to handle, you know, 250 uh, A's but 500 semicolons, and so you get more space later on. <coughs> like I said, uh, if you're doing Windows stuff, solid. Is awesome because it will, and even some of the stuff it'll do with virtual machines where if you're fuzzing an OS, like when, I think it's basically Windows. So if you're fuzzing Windows and it notices that Windows has crashed, it will contact VMware Control and tell it to reboot the machine. And so it'll reboot the VM, not send any more data until that VM has come back up, and then start sending fuzzing data where it was. It's got a neat uh, web interface where you can see all the overwrites if you see in the IP at 414141. Um, there's plugins for WinDebug, uh, what is it, uh, Mac Explo Exploitable by Windows that will tell you uh, how likely you are to get an e a working exploit because not every crash leads to an exploit. 
um, you will get a, if you start fuzzing apps, you'll get a lot of crashes, and maybe one to two of hundreds will result in a place for you to get an exploit. So, but fuzzing, uh, there are a lot of great books I didn't mention. Um, fuzzing, uh, brute force, vulnerability discovery. Do what? Yeah, okay, so it's got a big barrel on the front of it. Um, again, I told you I'm not much into book learning, but I do have some. Uh, Shellcoder's Handbook, also a fantastic book, and Hacking the Art of Exploitation uh, 2. Uh, all three of those, if for no other reason to have laying around, if you're getting into this stuff, you want to do this kind of stuff, you need to have them laying around to refer to when you get into something crazy. Also, uh, Pound Metasploit on IRC, Pound Offsec, IRC. Uh, Backtrack is probably not going to be the big... Martin, would you uh, yell at people if they came into Backtrack Linux and started talking about fuzzing? You probably would, wouldn't you? As long as you put Backtrack in the sentence somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so don't come in and start talking about I'm in Windows, I'm playing with Sully. Help me. Because uh, they probably won't be too cool about that in there. Uh, Backtrack, that'll be all right. Yeah, you say it four times, you're safe. So, uh, yeah, just Backtrack, Backtrack, Backtrack. How do I do this? Backtrack, Backtrack. You say Backtrack yeah. three times in the area, it's something's Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, any other questions? Did you guys kind of get that? I mean, it didn't go too far over y'all's heads because I was just, I was really afraid it was either going to be way too dumb or I was just going to put, I was going to overthink it and put uh, too much in there. So, excellent. All right, here you go, guys.